Okay, today let's talk about the inverse of a relation or a function. Let's start by warm up. So work these problems and pause the video and then come back and check your answer. This one you add 6 to both, both sides and divide both sides by 2 to solve for y. This one you're going to subtract 5 from both sides, divide both sides by 2, then take the square root. So plus or minus the square root of x minus 5 divided by 2. An inverse relation undoes the relation and maps b back to a. Inverse functions, if you have f as a function, then f inverse is its inverse. This is not a negative exponent. It's indicating that it's an inverse function. Find the inverse of relation m. So we've, we're given x and y coordinates of this relation. To find the inverse, all you simply do is interchange the x and y columns. So what was a y is now an x. What was an x is now the y. You just flip each ordered pair. Pretty simple. What is the graph of the inverse of graph m? Well, we just simply reverse the ordered pairs and graph them. So this is the first function, and here it is the inverse. Find the inverse of y equals x squared minus 2. <clears throat> well, you start by switching the x and the y, and then simply solve for y. Add 2 to both sides and then take the square root of each side. So y is equal to plus or minus the square root of x plus 2. So this is the inverse of this function. Graph y is equal to negative x squared minus 2 and its inverse. So the graph of y is equal to negative x squared minus 2 is a parabola that opens downward with a vertex at 0, negative 2. The reflection of the parabola in the line x equals y, this is the line, is the graph of the inverse. So if we were to, if this were a piece of paper and we were to fold it along this line, this would reflect right onto this one. You can also find points on the graph of the inverse by reversing the coordinates. So whatever your ordered pairs are here, you could reverse them and then graph it. Okay, time for you to practice a little bit on your own.